so here's a fighter that a lot of people have been talking about here during fight week, really just because of the nature of his skill set. I haven't seen much in terms of a glaring weakness on film. Your thoughts? It, it doesn't seem like there is one. You know, when you're watching the film and you're critiquing him, there's not much to critique. When you're trying to break down where the weaknesses are, there aren't many. The guy can wrestle, he can rap, he's got tremendous cardio, great top control, insane durability. He's got it all. He's one of the best mixed martial artists we have seen come on the scene for a long time. But he's got to continue to prove it if he wants to stay where he is right now in the UFC. And perhaps his greatest asset, at least thus far, has been his instinctual nature in the octagon, right? Just knowing which skill to employ at the right time. Certainly, he's got essentially every skill you would want in an MMA also. Just when you thought you had seen it all in the octagon, we are graced with the presence of one Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, taking his act to mixed martial arts. I mean, he's so pretty, John. Now he always uh, says, I'm so pretty. He looked pretty inside the boxing ring. He intends to do the same thing inside the octagon tonight. This guy is such a great athlete. He talks what he's going to do, but he also delivers. Olympic gold medalist boxing heavyweight, light heavyweight world champion. He has done it all. A true icon in combat sports makes his UFC debut tonight. And to the surprise of some, he told us in the fighter meeting he's got an appetite for the wrestling stuff. So we'll see if Ali can mix it up a little bit tonight. Happy to have him here in the UFC. Muhammad Ali has graced the octagon. He's ready to go. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Tom Espinosa! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Muhammad Ali! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, here we are in the Brick City, Newark, New Jersey, inside Prudential Center. I can think of a lot of fighters that have had big moments inside these walls. Just like that, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Aspinall's trying for a submission here. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Good work from the top here by Ali. Oh, that's very deep now. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Big ground and pound. Oh, strong reversal on the ground here. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Nice jab by Aspinel. Oh, he's in the close Side control now. 
All right, this position now, what we call the north-south. If you're the bottom fighter, what are you trying to do to get out of harm's way? Man, it's tough on the bottom. It's very tough because everything hurts, right? right. It doesn't matter that they're not completely driving the shoulder in. It just, everything hurts. So you wait for your opponent to go to his next action. And when he does, you go and attack the hands. You get to your knees and you attack the hands with both hands and try to peel the lock so you can get to your feet. All right, DC, half guard position. Beautiful submission attempt here. Oh, that looks tight to me. It looks like it might be locked in. Yeah, it looks like it's done. It looks like it's done. Oh, great submission defense. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, how clean is that jab by Esther? Back and forth we go. Back in the clinch, look for a takedown. Very good at changing cover when he can get to this clinch position and get in close. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. That was a slick transition. But I'll be getting back up. 90 seconds to go. Big power shot there. Oh, nice kick. Big knee there. Nice. Nicely done. Aspinall's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. And a nice job. He stick with it there to complete the takedown. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Well, very efficient and effective with the ground and pound strikes here. High level work by Ali. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these, take these submissions. Final seconds here. to the full mount here. Right. Round two next. All right, heading back to the corner now, and we will keep a close eye on things. Aspinall's corner now. We'll take a look at that lip. The cut man is in, and we got to tighten that up. It's really starting to bleed now. We'll see if uh, it rears its ugly head as this fight continues. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. All right. Round two. Clean left punch followed by the right. Top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Get that up, and stand. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Nice 
punch by Ali. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. But mentally, it appears as though he's checked out. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give one. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Huge knee lands here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Classic ground and pound elbow to the head. Inside the closed guard. All right, so he's setting up for a submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Great submission defense. A full display by the opponent. Well, maybe ill-advised to be competing off your back, but he's landing. Muhammad Ali's back inside control. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, oh, right under the elbow, right on the block. It was perfect. It was a perfectly placed shot. And you see his opponent reacting violently from that point. Now we're going. Gets to the single title time. Look at the player on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight. To drop his oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Ali gets back up here. one. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but it's oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Huh. Win the scramble! Win the Back scramble. to his feet. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. All right, that's the end of round number two. What a round it was for him, DC, and of course the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, fight. and he hurt his opponent right. very bad. If right. he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. Whether to land a looping right. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous fight. Oh, that hurt. That hurt him bad. Oh, right here. He's got good leg kicks. There it is. Aspinall gets the 
single leg takedown well played. Oh, he reversed position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. He has controlled the position, postured up, and landed another strike that is causing swelling. Nice transition. He's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. You got the turtle in that kick. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 16 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Muhammad Ali! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.